So looks like you're coming from a non-target school and you don't have any relevant internship experience. Do interviewers realize this and try to not slam you with technical questions um, since you've had very little exposure or do they simply not care and start smiling when you start squirming in your seat? Uh, it's a good question. I would say you've got one thing working for you and one thing working against you here. So the fact that you don't have any relevant internship experience means that your interviewers are a little less likely to really, really grill you. Um, because if you don't have, you know, if you don't mention a GCF or an LBO on your resume, they're not going to have the chance to say, well, it says here you worked on a discounted cash flow for XYZ company. Let's talk about that. Uh, and so you've got that working for you. The one thing that you have working against you is that you're coming from a non-target school. Uh, and so I, I broke in from a non-target. And one of the things that I found was that interviewers really went out of their way um, to kind of stress test me a little bit more than I think they did for some of the target guys. Uh, and that's just kind of the nature of trying to come in from a non-target, uh, that you just need to prove yourself that much more to, to, to a lot of your interviewers, especially if they are from a target school like Stern or Wharton uh, or, or things like that. Uh, and some of your interviewers, even if they are from target schools, if they're from Harvard, they're, they're totally cool and they understand uh, and they have no problem with the fact that you're from a state school or a school that they've never heard of. Uh, but there are some guys who are say, okay, well, you're not from a target school. Like, let's see if you really deserve this. Uh, and so that to a large extent depends on your interviewer based on my experience. Um, but most of the time, I would say more often than not, non-target kids have to prove themselves a little bit more in the technical interview process to show that you have gone above and beyond. And so I would say that you are going to get some, some technical questions, whether or not you have internship experience. Most of the time, uh, banks do this differently, but most of the time you'll have like two behavioral interviews and one technical interview, right? And so if you've got 90 minutes, you know, two of the people will only ask you behavioral questions and one person will only ask you technical questions, right? And so if you're in that kind of interview format, then you're gonna have half an hour of technical questions either way. It's just a matter of how advanced they get. Uh, some banks don't do that. Some banks just kind of have each of their interviewers pepper in some technical questions. Um, either of those formats is, is fine, but um, I would say, regardless of, of your previous experience and where you're coming from school, you're gonna get some technical questions. Uh, if you have no experience, then you probably won't get advanced LBO or merger modeling questions, but you're gonna get some stuff and you do need to prepare for that. 